हेलो यू आर वॉचिंग हाउस प्लान मास्टर क्लास दिस इज एपिसोड फाइव दिस इज अ फाइनल एपिसोड एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द मच अवेटेड टॉपिक द टॉपिक ऑफ प्रोपोगेशन एंड दिस इज अ हैंड्स ऑन वर्कशॉप टूडे आई विल जस्ट टेक यू थ्रू डिफरेंट एग्जाम्पल्स बट बिफोर वी डू दैट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द वेरी बेसिक्स ऑफ प्रोपोगेशन इन टूडेज एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस what are propagation propagation basics we are going to talk about self propagation what is self propagation we are going to talk about cuttings how to take cuttings we are going to talk about root division transplanting and air layering don't get uh, worried by the titles or the terms here we'll be covering them in a very simple manner and uh, let's start with what are the three main steps to any propagation so the three very important steps to any propagation is cutting rooting and then transfer we need to take a cutting from an existing plant it can be a piece of the plant it can be any part of the plant then we take that cutting and give it some kind of a medium some kind of a uh, way to develop roots and once it develop roots we can then move it to a pot of its own and that is the essential process of propagation now it is very important to understand these three distinct terms uh, because at times they might not occur in the same order but the fundamentals remain the same so with this understanding let's start with the first classification this is the easiest of the plants to propagate these are what i call as self propagating plants now what is meant by self propagation these are plants which create a new plant on their own you don't have to do any effort they create the new plant on their own all you need to do is you need to separate the plant and then move it to a different pot let's take snake plant for as the first example and uh, before i take snake plant let me also tell you the other plants which are self propagating so here's a list of plants so we have pilea we have aloe vera we have uh, dumkin and dracenia sorry not dumkin that's dracenia and so these uh, different varieties all of them are self propagating so we'll take couple of these examples today here let me start with snake plant now if you see snake plant it develops a uh, these babies on its own now how can you separate these uh, snake plant babies into a uh, plants of their own now it is self propagating because it is creating these small babies and let me just pull it out okay so here you see we have this uh, snake plant and these two self propagated ones now let me show you how to divide it if you might remember uh, right after lockdown i had repotted this one at that time the main plant was struggling but after repotting it now 6 uh, weeks later it has two babies uh, you can go to that video that was an instagram live i had done uh we had peeled off all the drooping leaves i had put it in the pot i had put green sticks and voila now we have two babies now one of the very important things to remember is we need to separate the pup from this bottom uh root so there'll be a horizontal root and we need to separate it from here okay so do you see we now have two new plants which have roots and as i said we should remember cutting rooting and transfer but in this case in self propagation cases the rooting has already happened before so we have cut it the rooting is there now we just need to transfer it to a new pot and we'll have a new plant as for this one 
I can already see a new pup forming and uh, <clears throat> we'll uh, soon have more plants coming out of this mother plant. So very easy for snake plant. Now let's move to some other plant. I think this one is one of the other highly requested plant. People ask me a lot of times how I can propagate a spider plant, right? So you see spider plant throws out these uh, spider babies. They are generally flowers and after flowering it converts into this tiny plants and uh, all you need to do is you need to cut them out. Now these are separated from the mother plant. Let me take few other ones. Okay, this one has two. Now you see <clears throat> at the bottom it has this root node. We can get closer. Okay, so I'll show you a snake plant pup that I had earlier put in water and uh, it has as you can see it has developed new roots now so that's what you essentially need to do with snake plant once you get these pups out you can just give it some water or you can also put it in soil that you can keep damp slowly root will start to form from here and once there is enough rooting you can move it to a bigger pot here i like to point out something let's look at what should be the pot size or how you should structure when you are uh, say propagating always have one smaller pot and here that way it's easier for you to take care of the plants you're propagating now here you can simply put like say in, term, in case of uh, spider plant you can simply put it like this and then I'll take these two again and I will put them here and I will put this here. Now, this becomes a great way for you to just take care of them in a better fashion. Now, these plants will not grow very big in this pot. And that's why the important step, this is step two of just rooting them. We are putting them in this pot not to grow big, but with a uh, goal that they should develop roots. Once they develop roots, we can take it to a bigger pot. And uh, that's the idea. So... The goal here is to keep the soil moist and to put this pot in a relatively uh, shaded area. Basically not in direct sun where the uh, sun can dry out the soil. So that's, that's the idea with snake plant. Now we have some other self propagating plants and uh, yeah. So let me show you another one. This is Dracenia. Now, this one had a couple of vines here, but if you see, this is the main stem. This is the main stem, but these two have come out on their own. Now, it is very simple if there is a gap in between the main mother plant and the uh, pups or, or the offshoots you can say in Dracenia then you can separate it by Dracenia think of Song of India and that variety so that essentially is the self propagation plants this is very important uh, I would say uh, category of plants especially because they are already doing half the work so if you want to start with propagation always start with these plants because 
your chances of success or your chances of making a new plant this way is very high because the nature has already done half the work and after this we will talk about how do you propagate plants from cutting i'm going to take your example of stem cutting first then we will go to say air layering and then we will go to leaf so there's a lot of more plants to talk about in this episode but right after this message welcome back welcome to cleaner table so let's talk about cutting and growing plants from stem i would like to start with my favorite and if you have been following me on uh, instagram you would have seen me just fall in love with propagating really hopeless dumb cane stems so this is a photo uh, on the left side uh, you see the photo of a stem which was already discarded for more than a year i remember and then during lockdown as i was searching for pots to use i came across this and then i propagated it let me show you what it looks like now this is what it looks like right now it's a healthy stem and uh, you can see out of that one stem i made three uh, cuttings and uh, out of that two already have great growth happening now this is also one learning stage for us because all three parts of this stem were from the same plant i did everything same for all these three parts of the cutting but two of them have remarkably shown growth and the third one has not so just today morning i was digging it out if i go inside i can really see there is something happening at this bump but uh, otherwise there is there is no much growth but let me just oh i broke off the root so uh, <laughs> if we look at this one it has a great root growth happening and uh, let me take out this one and same for this one wonderful root and wonderful shoot right so first of all everything same done for these plants all of them have different uh, growth happening how do you do this let's talk about that and uh, i have plants in different stages so first of all you may clean cut uh with a knife in that stem that is very essential make very clean cuts and one of the things to note here uh this cut i had made yesterday okay now i'm going to make another fresh cut here if i touch it it wets my finger now why is it important for plants like these uh where you are trying to propagate by stem and the stem has a lot of liquid in it it's always recommended after you make a cut you can leave it outside in air for a day or so then it forms what is what we call as callus so basically there comes becomes a layer so that when you put it in water or anything it is not going to rot 
otherwise rotting can set in so that's always recommended as the first step to do make cuttings let the cutting remain out for plants like this dump cane anything which has this fleshy stem inside then what i like to do is i take these cuttings and i put them in water i find that uh, plants root faster in water uh, in general you can root them in uh, soil too i have luckily these plants which i put in the water and the soil at the same time about 4 weeks ago so let me take this one out okay so let's compare these two so let's compare these two this one was in uh, water and this one was in soil both of them have rooted both of them are showing growth on top so both of them will be successful but you can just see that this in water has given more root more shoot and its general chance of survival is higher right so i would recommend as a beginner try to do rooting in water because another really good thing when you are rooting in water is you can see the root formation happen in soil you won't know whether it's something is working below but you can't see the shoot or nothing is happening right so that that's a just a general tip otherwise you can root in both right and there are plants which you should root in uh, soil which we will be coming back in air layering and all but here is how you know that you can take a stem cutting and root it in water let me just share how you know you know if you have attended my class and session on money plant uh, you would realize we have talked a lot about nodes there in fact all the other plants too have nodes if you see here you can see these rings happening and you will see these small bumps along the side same thing if i look at this anglonema i can see these small bumps here these bumps are essentially nodes so whenever you see nodes in a stem then you can root it in water so that's that's one of the uh rule of thumb and now since we have these stems laid out in front of us let me just touch upon what do you need to do after your plant roots first of all when your root starts to show in water if you have started in water once your root starts to show move it to soil because the root formation in water and in soil are very different in terms of when you move a root from water to soil uh, it has to actually create new roots it's just a head start but it is not a sure shot way to success so it's always great idea when there are first signs of root to move it to water uh, if you want a number i would say once your root is about 2 cm long move it to uh, soil now how much space to give when once you move it to soil so what we need to do is i am moving this one fresh from uh water to soil so essentially all i need is i need to give it soil so that it can form roots so i don't need to give it a lot of space because the goal is not to make it a big plant the goal right now is for it to continue to root bigger and why i keep saying that uh why do i keep emphasizing on the size of the pot is because when you are propagating it's always best to have a large number of cuttings which you are propagating at the same time so that you see some success now i know if you take up too much space if you always need big pots then you will not have enough number of cuttings going so that's the only reason 
So let me just put quickly the second one here. And I can put a third one, but I'll do that on my time. So this is good. There'll come a third one here. Okay, let's put this one. Okay, so what are the other plants? Can you put it in comments? What are the plants you can just take a cutting from the stem and put in for propagation? Let's see. Oh, by the way, once you do this, water very well. Uh, one of the things we need to understand about propagation is uh, our goal is to develop roots. What is the role of roots? The role of roots is to search for water. And the best way to propagate is to uh, put plant cutting in a place where there is, which is alway, always moist and always water till deep. That's how the initial roots get formed. That's the idea. Cutting, then rooting, and once the rooting happens, then transfer. Also, when you're propagating in soil, how do you know the roots have formed? The moment you see some kind of new growth happening in the stem above, then you know the roots are getting formed. So that's that's the uh, way to know. Okay, so here are some of the other plants I just wanted to show that you can take from stem cutting. Uh, one is a uh, song of India, very simple, same, make a cut and you see there are these bumps and uh, just take it, create a cut, put it in soil, in water, wherever you want to. Then here is Dracenia. Same thing, just make a cut, put it in water and you would have uh, root formation happening. Syngonium is the other one. Syngonium just like money plant, very easy to take a cutting from the stem. Now here's where I just want to clarify one thing because I've seen a lot of people get very confused. If this is the money plant, uh, this is the syngonium, okay? This is not stem. This is a stalk, okay? Let's put it this way. So this is a stalk which connects the leaf to the stem. The stem is from where the stalk comes out. So if you cut this and put it in water, that's not how you are going to root it. So you are going to need to cut the stem. Another way to know it is a stem is you see these circles happening on the stem. So remember this because I get a lot of photos of people trying to propagate syngonium and they have put in the stalk and uh, not this stem. So very important. And besides this, uh, uh, money plant is the other one which you can do with cuttings and wandering Jew. Same, circles, nodes in this wandering dew plant, you can put it here very simply and same thing for money plant. Okay, same thing for money plant. Okay. I know the obvious question and next is uh, how often to change water, change water every 10 days that is recommended uh, for two reasons so that a the plants do not rot in water and uh, secondly uh, water has some dissolved oxygen so to uh, just replenish uh, the oxygen in the water we need to replace the water but how do you replace the water that is very important. Do not go out dumping water or turning it upside down. What happens then is you are disturbing the roots. When roots get formed initially, they are very fragile. Uh, you can very easily disturb or hurt your roots. 
so the best way is always to take out water as much as you can easily uh, discard or uh, take out from the uh, container but after that just add new water and keep adding so that some what the older water just overflows and things like that and that is probably the best way to uh, replace water and uh, with that i would like to say that this is what i wanted to talk about stem now what we are left with is how do you say a uh, root a stem like curry plant so we'll talk about how to root curry plant and then we'll talk about how you can propagate plants from leaf or from other parts of the plant but right after this message welcome back to propagation masterclass now let's talk about how you can propagate plants uh, through a very special method called as air layering method now the term is new but we have discussed this in some form or the other so essentially what we are doing in air layering is we are rooting the plant before cutting so i talked about cutting rooting and transfer but what about if we root the plant before we cut it now how is it possible any guesses and i think we have discussed this uh in our previous class relating to money plant so one way to do it and this i'm going to show in money plant is say when you have a plant which has a node okay let's say this is already attached to a plant now if this was really lying down it was going like this what if i take a part of it and i put it in the soil now it is still connected to the plant i have not removed it from the plant and it will develop roots this is essentially known as air layering now <clears throat> here's what i have done for this money plant let me remove and show so this is a money plant stem it's normally just growing it is connected to the money plant already now one thing i can do is i can take this money plant stem and i can guide it to towards the soil now let me guide it towards the soil now it is at soil now if i just hold it down here with this pin is it clear okay so we are just trying to get this stem uh stuck to the soil using a a pin now i know we have discussed this before in uh the class about how to get your money plant bushy now what we are doing essentially here is we are rooting it without uh, separating it from the plant so once the root develops if we want we can cut it away from the main plant and take it out as a new plant so this is known as air layering now air layering is a very uh, good method to root plants like curry leaf plant okay so say for this curry leaf plant if i have to do air layering for it what i'm going to do i'm going to take one of the branches right so it has couple of branches and show you part of the process here and then i have a small clip that will make it 
easier now can we get a closer on this now if you look at here it has the same what we have been observing uh, earlier it has uh, uh, some bumps and everything now let me just uh, very lightly i i don't have to go any deeper in it and uh, what i need to do after this is uh what i have to do after this is i need to cover it with a uh, cocoa peat and just something to keep it very moist and the best way is to make make the soil almost at the consistency of a dough of a play dough kind of a thing create a ball around it and then wrap it with any plastic or cling wrap or something and then just tie the both ends that way this plant so can you can you just relate to what we did here and what we are doing here is very similar here we had soil and we brought the branch closer to the soil in this case we can't bring this branch closer to the soil so we are basically getting a part of the soil to the branch it is it is very similar uh, in principle and we put plastic just so that the soil remains moist it remains a very compact uh, arrangement um, and say in 3 weeks or so you will see roots forming here this is also a very popular method in nurseries to multiply plants like hibiscus uh, and uh, other plants if you see in this video here uh, this is a tree with a lot of uh, air layering done almost on each and every branch uh, air layering has been done so a very common method in nurseries a very good method for plants uh, like curry leaf or for hibiscus uh, the success rate of this method method is higher because of the simple fact that the new new plant that you are trying to form is still connected to the main plant so it is still getting nutrition from the main plant main roots till the time it develops its own uh, roots so that is air layering is good we have a table today because it's a messy setup okay so we have talked about we have talked about propagation being cutting rooting and transfer and first we talked about how you can root very simply from stem from stem in water we looked at uh, dump cane and uh, then we looked at wandering jew money plant syngonium anglonema all of them you can do the same way and uh, then the second thing is uh, through air layering yes now i remember what i forgot the so first thing that we talked about is self propagating plants so the pups of snake plant spider plant any plant that is giving an offshoot very simple way to propagate them is just to divide them into two half your work is already done then we talked about the simplest one the next one is to take any of the cutting of a stem stem with node stem with round rings take them take them and cut make a cutting put them in water and that will root and as soon as you have a 2 cm root put it in soil keep the soil moist well drained and keep it away from direct sun that's the way to root any plant from stem which has rings on it right so what what are we talking about we have talking about dumpkin we are talking about dracenia we are talking about money plant wandering jew anglonema syngonium all of these now let's talk about the last part and that is propagating plants from leaf cutting and here we are going to come back to a plant that we talked about that is snake plant did you know you can take a cutting of this uh, snake plant leaf 
and uh, then you can just uh, get uh, new plants coming out of it isn't that amazing let's just look at these plants okay so one is a very small pup it is really small i'm going to keep it aside the second one looks like this so this is a leaf we put it we put it in soil and now we have a new plant coming out of it isn't it amazing now how to do this how to create new snake plants from snake plant cuttings very simple very uh, interesting just that you need a lot of patience patience is the key when you're going to try growing plants from uh, cuttings of snake plant leaf snake plant yeah. Yeah. oh i'm sorry we have a snake plant here okay so very simply we are going to take a leaf here we are going to cut it out now we have a leaf of a snake plant now what you need to do is you need to either you need to cut it cut it into uh, different sizes and just remember that which side of the leaf is towards the down because in this one it is clear that it's going to go this one but this one one can get confused and we have to put the bottom one on the bottom side and then this one again we have this one as the bottom now you can also cut and make it a v shape to increase the surface area but even if you don't that's fine but what's important is you don't leave the leaf uh, uh, fractured basically make clean cuts that is the most important thing okay make clean cuts now after this is done i'm going to put it in soil let me get soil now i can also do it in water so let's be very clear we can also do it in water uh, i personally have just found more success for snake plant in soil you can do it in water we have done it in water what i have also done is we have tried to so this one actually the one i showed you we started it in water and then we gave up on it and when we just threw it in soil and it took roots in soil so whatever works best uh now you can put it like this and then just create your own arrangement and give it a good support by pressing down on the soil in front and behind it don't ask anyone how long it takes for a snake plant leaf to root because it takes a lot of time so it is best to just do it and leave it because i know people some people would say 6 months some would say 3 months some might say 2 weeks and truly i have seen this one show signs new signs after 8 months so it can be anything in between and uh, 
but don't be disheartened it it's, it's not usual for it to take eight months let me just say that way uh, it normally should happen say in one month but at the same time if it doesn't happen in one month and if your leaf is still not not folding down it is still stiff it is still showing signs as if it is alive <clears throat> then it still has a chance to uh, propagate so once you put your leaf like this just water it water it well water it regularly uh, unlike uh, say my normal advice of uh, watering very less Again, in propagation also, you don't want to just drown it in water because uh, after all, we are uh, putting it in soil. But at the same time, the soil should remain moist. That's uh, a general idea. And the better you are able to achieve that, uh, your uh, propagation results would be more positive and it will be faster. Now, I still have some space in this pot and then there is another plant you can take cuttings from the leaf and it is this ZZ plant. So ZZ again you can uh, propagate from leaf if you want to. Let me take a cutting. You, ZZ is very interesting. You can propagate it with the stem as uh, well as uh, the best way is to say take these leaves of ZZ and just insert them in made a mistake of wetting the soil before inserting so, neat. okay now if you are going to try propagating ZZ this way then I would recommend put at least 10 to 12 leaves again ZZ should start showing some roots in one month and uh, that's a great way to propagate ZZ now as we are just close to our question answer segment but there is one thing that is still left that I want to share so allow me an extra five minutes here and I'll share about how you can propagate ZZ from root division so what is root division is uh, you can almost combine it in the term of uh, self propagating uh, the way we separated the snake plant pups that was essentially you can call it as a root division and uh, let me just so whenever you find these plastic uh, baskets in your plant just remove them they, they hinder the growth of your plant and they cause an issue okay so in ZZ what you find is uh, uh, you have these structures balls at the bottom these are the rhizomes and uh, you can separate them and rhizomes are one of the reasons why ZZ can go such a long time without requiring water now each rhizome can actually become a new plant on its own so you see I just cut it out into a separate one see how it stores water uh, this is the secret to ZZ requiring very less water and now I can actually divide each of these rhizoids into separate one Okay, this one looks same one I mean I can cut it but that's fine actually let me cut from here ok 
okay so from that one small thing we have been able to make three separate ones and this this kind of thing can be done for many different plants if you look at the structure below you will get a clue if the plant is uh, creating new growth in under the soil and then that growth creates an offshoot for the top then those are the plants which will qualify for this so one thing that i want to add here is jade again you can do the propagation same way as dracaena or money plant that we talked about take a cutting uh, and put it in soil it will develop roots you can also do air layering with uh, jade what's air layering you take a stem of uh, jade and just try to pin it to soil somewhere it will develop roots and then you can separate it out before we open to question and answer first of all a very big thank you for joining us for these five master class sessions if you're joining us for the first time or if you have not seen all the sessions i would really say go through the five sessions they are amazingly structured i am myself i'm really happy that we could do this uh we start from the light basics and the basics of water to how to buy plants from nursery then we talk about how to make your money plant bushy we want bushy money plant right how to make your money plant bushy and in the same class we talk about trimming the importance of trimming then the last episode that was episode 4 was essentially about the basics of plant terminology repotting the plant and everything about that and this one was propagation so please look at the other sessions and another thing a just a gentle reminder if you are new here what i'm seeing is still 77% of our views come from people who are not subscribed to us so if you like what we are doing just subscribe by clicking the red button below now what will happen is as we are launching the new series so this is the last session of a live but now we are focusing time creating high quality videos which will come recorded and uploaded to youtube they would be smaller segments they'll be 7 to 12 minute segments and if you want to stay updated when we release that then if you subscribe youtube will let you know in your feed when we release a new video so that would be really helpful and i know i'm asking a lot but the last thing to ask here is if you see the thumbs up button and if you found anything useful in this video just change that button to blue that button should be blue and you can make that if it is not blue already you can click it and make it blue and with that before going to question and answers please send some video question and answers right now but i'll be taking a summary of everything we did today so first of all what is propagation propagation is essentially cutting rooting and then transferring now there are some self propagating plants these are plants which create new babies new plants on their own with roots plants like snake plant uh pilea aloe vera and dracaena now if we are propagating plants from cuttings first let's talk about plants which are very simple to propagate in water from stem cutting uh like dum cane syngonium money plant wandering jew what you have to do is you just need to cut these plants just note their nodes and put it in water that's from nodes they will develop new roots and uh, it will uh, give birth to uh, A, a new sapling that you can put anywhere for a new plant then there is air layering method again we are just propagating through the stem but before cutting we are rooting it so in this process we are creating the roots before the cutting happens so you can do it for curry plant you can do it for hibiscus you can do it for a lot more plants that you see around you which might have some wooden barky uh, stuff then you can uh, propagate by root division like we just did for zz plant and you can also propagate using leaves like for snake plant leaves and zz leaves and whenever you are propagating in soil make sure the soil is moist keep it away from direct sun keep it in shade and never lose hope if there's one thing i would like you to take away from this session is propagation is a game of patience and i think this is what i'm going to put on instagram today propagation is a game of patience never lose hope i got my snake plant propagated after 8 months if the plant looks 
ha- healthy if the stem if the leaf that you planted for propagation still looks like a leaf keep watering it if you keep watering it it will root and you will have success and the second more important point here is start with a lot of cuttings because you will have some failures not 100% of the cuttings we put out uh, propagate into plants very best example is these three cuttings which started at the same time everything same for them right these two uh, these two have roots these have shoots but this one nothing yet so had i just started with this one i would have thought that uh, i am not able to propagate plants had i just started with these two i would have thought this is the best method but with these three i feel okay i should always put more than i need okay with that let's just have question answer you can submit your question answer but right after this message Welcome back and let's do some Q&A. Okay. Pallavi Vyas asks, when you put cutting in water, do you keep it all in sunlight or in dark? Okay. Very good question. So what we should do when we are putting cuttings in water is uh, neither dark nor sunlight. Definitely away from sunlight because that will make the water evaporate much faster. So we're going to keep it indoors in a bright place where it is getting like this kind of a light you have a tube light it's kept there i would avoid personally putting it inside a dark cabinet or anything like that because what i found is that only uh, gives a chance for fungus and other things to grow on the live matter mahar kalai asks sir if we transfer it in some time in soil will it affect plant growth okay Uh, Malhar. Okay, so I think what Malhar means to us here is if we delay the transfer to soil, will it affect the growth of the plant? Uh, We have to just remember one thing and we have to be prepared for one thing. When we transfer to soil, it is possible that the existing leaves are going to drop, right? That's the only thing. So if you have already got a leaf, it might drop. It might turn yellow. It might not remain. But and you are losing out on time. So what we say is when you are propagating in water, there is only a certain benefit that water is going to provide. After that, when I transfer it in soil, the plant has to do the work again from a certain uh, stage. So if I put it too long in water, it is not furthering the cause of that plant. Otherwise, there is no as such issue. Just be prepared that the uh, the existing leaves are going to fall except i would say for plants like money plant uh wandering jew i would advise not to keep them in water for too long because there the roots are very delicate and i have never had myself any or seen or heard anyone do a successful transplantation from wa- money plant in water to soil repeatedly so for money plant wandering jew i'll recommend if you want to grow them in water then put them in water if you want them to grow in soil then put them in soil directly and they're easy to root in both so yeah <clears throat> kamal khatri asks uh, can we get roots of uh, coleus in water i've been trying to propagate but not been successful so one problem with the coleus i feel is a uh, they are very sensitive in general to heat and uh, they need light now this becomes a difficult combination so if you want to propagate coleus in water i have not done that but i know it is possible a lot of people i've seen do keep it in brighter place plants with colored leaves in general would 
require brighter uh, spaces for better propagation now this i'm just saying from experience i don't know whether this is uh, fundamentally correct but i understand because of the photosynthesis and everything uh, in general also uh, plants with colored leaves appreciate brighter light now we always have to distinguish what we discussed in say episode 1 and episode 4 also brighter light does not mean sunlight because sunlight gives you heat also so yeah swati khunana says what do we need when do we need rooting hormone rooting hormone will help roots develop faster there is still not an alternative to bad cutting your cutting still needs to be very sharp it's not an alternate to bad cutting and it's not an alternate to your bad technique or putting anything cinnamon haldi these act as natural rooting hormones then you have rooting hormones available in market also you can use them the way to use them is do not mix them in soil just dip the part of the cut into the rooting hormone and put it so uh, that's basically essentially something that promotes the uh, root of growth growth of root <laughs> saranjit sohal ask uh, how can we propagate plants which has bulb okay so plants which have bulb i would term them as self propagating plants again because they create new bulbs on their own so think of rain lily if you put one bulb of rain lily by the end of season you might have five or six bulbs now you can take these bulbs out and each one of them themselves will create a separate uh, plant another great thing about bulbs is you can take them out and just store uh, for a very long period so yeah caladiums so these are basically uh, they create bulbs new bulbs on their own but for them to create new bulbs there should be some space the volume of soil needs to be there pallavi asks uh, can once we have shifted the cutting from water to soil and when to shift to a bigger pot okay when do we shift it from water to soil and when to uh, move it to a bigger pot move from water to soil once you have a root growth of about 2 cm once you have a root growth of about 2 cm move from water to soil once you have moved it to soil and then once you start seeing new shoots happening once there is new growth coming on top from the time you moved it to soil then you can move it to a bigger pot of its own right having said that very important that let the plant be in soil stage for about 10 days to 2 weeks minimum now some plants will require much longer but that's the minimum i am saying that you should uh, let it be can you share something about mint propagation i have tried multiple times mint again similar to money plant uh, what you can do is the mint that you purchase from market you can create its cuttings root it in water and then move it to soil i've done a complete video on this which is uh, definitely available on instagram tv we will try to put it on youtube as well uh, this is the same method so take the cuttings put it in water uh, in your uh, what do you say in a glass so take the cuttings put it in a glass in water and uh, then after it roots it has two centimeters of fruit you can uh, move it to soil and that reminds me one thing actually that's why i forgot what we call uh, glass this is exactly how you also root monstera so this is the cutting of monstera uh, i just took the cutting uh, this morning and uh, basically pallavi took the cutting and uh, this is how i am cutting it so that i have couple of these roots here and you can see there's some uh, rings here and uh, then i'm going to put it in water for some time and then i'm going to let it be uh, and it will develop some roots 
Now I'll show you another cutting of Monstera that I had grown this way. It has been some time growing it and now you can see the stem here. This was the old original leaf. Uh, during lockdown that leaf died and then we started watering it again and you can see uh, a new shoot coming here and then there are more growth happening. So yeah. Just note how this leaf doesn't have any splits. So new leaves don't have that. It's only after the leaf becomes mature that it will start to have splits. Okay. Any other questions we have? Anita Sudhakar says, uh, should we use good water or salt water? I would say, I think by good water you mean water that we drink. I would say use the water you drink. The problem with any other water is, uh, now, we are not sure of what all is mixed in the other water. And that is why it's best to use uh, drinking water normal and uh, that should work well. Okay, so this wraps up the five part masterclass series. I really hope this was useful. Now after this video, after this live ends, I would really request if you can just put in in your comments what all has been your impression now why i'm saying not in chat is because i can't reply to chat messages uh because even after the live while i can see the live chat i can't reply but if you put it in comments i can reply and i would really like for you to share uh if this was useful what did you learn from it and what would you like to see us create in future that would be really amazing and uh, thank you so much for being there i'll request one more thing there's something i've been wanting to do if you share a video of your garden your balcony your plants indoor outdoor wherever you keep them if you can just share that and send it to video at lazygardener.in this is the email id if you can send it at this email id what i'll be doing is i'll be doing a video where i see the videos of your garden and the photos and I like to share my views and what's good about the climates and the comments. I've been doing it a lot on say Facebook and Instagram lives where we visit but then we are only able to see a certain number. So I would really request if you can email it to video at lazygardener.in and uh, with that we call the end to this uh, houseplant masterclass series. See you soon, take care and do subscribe for our future videos. Take care. Bye-bye.